Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear us. Hopefully you can see us. Let us know if you can't. <laughs> It's a bonus if you can do both, but we're here, we're live, we're back with you again. Welcome, everybody. Um, we've just been out and done our bit of clapping for the Yay! NHS and all the key workers, so that's up and running, and we're good to go. So, uh, what have we got coming up for you tonight? Well, we've, all the loads, all the load stuff. So uh, we'll go on to the birthday shout-outs in a minute or two, uh, followed by, of course, uh, we'll get Jules to talk about the Dance In Your Pants Beginners promo. Um, and then we will go into our feature teacher section, um, where we'll disclose a couple of fun facts about our teachers. Hi, Kev. Welcome to the broadcast. Kev Cook's first online. There you go. There he is. Um, and then... <coughs> Once we've done the fun facts, we'll show you a little quick um, video of our feature. Our, sorry, our teacher, not our feature. Our feature, our feature teacher. teacher even. Feature teacher. <laughs> and then basically the interview that we had with our feature teacher a couple of days ago. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Tracy. Look at this. They're all flying Hi. in now. We'll say evening to Tracy. There we go. Tracy Hart. Hi to Andrew. Hi, Jules. Hi, Andrew. Oh, this is lovely. This is so cool to be able to do this. This is such <laughs> a nice feature. Hello, Benson. Welcome. Lovely to see you there. Bad, bad time you showed your face. Um, <laughs> uh, feature teacher, yeah, we'll go through all of that and then we will go on to the U Rock section and uh, we'll cover a little bit about our our U Rock. There's a nice little twist to U Rock yeah. this week, so uh, we'll go more into that when we get there. And then, of course, we'll get there to our um, our actual own class of the week, our intermediate class that uh, we've put in place for you. Follow that up with a bit of who is it? Oh, look, hello, she's on there already. Hello. Hello, Lindsay. Um, uh, so we did the class video, and then we'll go, um, probably in between all of this, we'll throw in the teaser. We can't forget the teaser. Um, and then we'll do the caption. We'll cover last week's caption and who the winner was for last week's caption competition. And then we'll do this week's cap caption competition. And that should hopefully be it. <laughs> so about 15, 20 week. minutes, we should be done. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be really lovely? 15, 20 minutes, done, dusted, the whole <laughs> lot. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, lovely to see all these people coming in online. This is fabulous. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go to the birthday shout outs. Let's see who's got birthdays today. And this oh, week, just a gone. lot this week, haven't we? Here we have. Who have we got this week? We have got. <gasps> Karen White. Now, I do believe it's Karen Wright's birthday today. Um, Lydia, Keegan, yeah, Lydia Keegan was in the last week. Layla Baker was in the last week. Ian Lipscomb, Steve Whitefoot. And yes, believe it or not, the Queen had a birthday this week. <laughs> she watches, you know. She does watch. Yes, yeah. She's, uh, we see her all the time. She comes around all the time. Yeah, you know. She sits at the not back. The moment. You're on lockdown, love. She doesn't come around now. That's right. That's right. Uh, oh, look at this. Typical, you know, Dave Shillito. Arrived late. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what have we got up next? We've got, um, so the beginners, have you got, um, Pete, you've got the, the reel for the Dance New Pants? We have. Here we Bunk go. That on to me. Um, so if you're new to Ciroc, um, rather than kind of reinventing the wheel, we're using the uh, wonderful videos that are already in place on the Dance In Your Pants um, site. So here we go, Pete's showing you a little snippet of that website. There's loads of routines on there for complete beginners, so you don't need to have, have, have any experience at all. Um, so if you're watching this out of curiosity and you've never done Ciroc before, that's a really, really good place to, to start and to learn. Um, so uh, I'll post the link on the group and on our, on our page as well. If you're interested in that, I'll post it after the live um, so you can go and have a little look at that. For those of you who've been dancing a bit longer than that, there's all sorts of other videos on there. So if you're lucky enough to be um, isolating with a dance partner, there are couples videos on there. If you happen to be on your own, there's loads of solo videos on there as well. Um, and we're going to feature one of the solo videos tonight. Um, our featured teacher this evening is Lindsay Bennett. So she's done a, a nice uh, rock and roll routine, solo routine um, that we're going to be featuring. So we'll show you a little snippet of that later on. 
Um, so if those of you who've not, um, not met Lindsay, Lindsay's a lovely, lovely lady. She's a um, fantastic teacher. Um, so I'm sure quite a few of you will have been to classes or seen her performing. She's an she's, uh, um, amazing teacher. Um, she comes from a, a very, very dance based family. So both of her daughters dance. And we've got a little clip later on of one of her daughters, Marcy, um, funnily enough, doing uh, the routine that Tim Stevens taught last week that we, yeah. that we featured. So that was a nice little segue. Um, so uh, Lindsay and, and Marcy will be doing a little snippet of Tim's routine. Um, and Lindsay's other daughter, Cara, is also a dance teacher. So a very, very talented family. Um, and Lindsay's fiance is also a dancer. So, so lots and lots of dancers in that family. Uh, and actually, because Andy's on the rock and roll routine uh, in the, on the Dancing Pants website, we thought we'd have Andy on him as well. So we've invited Andy to come and, come and join in with the interview. Yeah, absolutely. And before we get into the interview and we show you a little snippet, obviously uh, we like to find out a few things about our guests. And uh, so we look for some fun facts. And uh, yeah. let's go through so, the fun facts and find. So, so yeah. you've got, you can have a little think and start thinking now these fun facts. So, so we're going to give you three fun facts, one, okay. of, one of which is true. Okay. The other two are barefaced lies. Okay, so we do Lindsay first. So. Which of these is true? So, did Lindsay once partner Ian Waite on a dance weekender? Uh, did she have Cliff Richard come to her house and sing to her mum? Or is she related to Judy Dench? Yeah. All right, so have a little think, have a little guess, pop your comments down the side, see what you reckon. Absolutely. Um, I think you've got some for Andy as well, haven't you? We've done I a do. We've got, we've got some for Andy here. So, uh, these are the fun facts for Andy. He was either was a TV presenter in Sweden. He played football for the under-21s England team, and he holds a PhD in electrical engineering. But one of those is only true. Which is it? Hmm. So have, have a little a guess. Think. Have a little think on. Lizzie, I can we'll see you in the comments. No guessing. I know you know your answers, so <laughs> no guessing. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> good. Don't help them out. <laughs> All right, I think um, we're going to go over to the um, the video of the routine that we're featuring this week. We sure are. So this is basically we're going to show a little bit of the feature of um, what's to come on the Dance in Your Pants. And we're going to go straight into the feature teacher interview after that. So enjoy, guys. everybody and welcome to this week's feature teacher and we are thrilled and delighted to have with us this week the beautiful the gorgeous andy no lindsay bennett and <laughs> and um andy hill come along for the ride i believe welcome guys <laughs> lovely to see you <laughs> hi hi guys <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So uh, we're going to basically go through a few, uh, have a nice old chat with you, get some insights to you and um, your history, etc. And uh, we'll go from there. And of course, don't forget, there will be the fun facts at the end of this. So those of you that have been trying to work it out, who is and who isn't, what's this fun fact belong to, you'll find out at the end of the interview. OK, so let's get things uh, off and running. Let's hand over to Jules uh, with the first question. Okay, so um, so we'll, we'll direct this one at Lindsay to start with. Um, so how did you get into dancing? 
Oh my God. Well, it was uh, shortly after Marcy was born, um, which was now 17 years ago. Um, I was a little bit larger than I am today. And my friend said to me at work, she said, uh, I'm going to start a dance class up the road. Would you like to join me? And it's like, uh, well, I've got nothing left to lose. Well, a lot to lose. Yeah. Um, so she dragged me kicking and screaming. By the time we got back, I was staggering home. Yeah. Actually, it had a really cheap bar, this local social club. <laughs> I mean, uh, that became a regular night out. So oh, it was a Tuesday night. We used to walk there, stagger back, um, yeah. had a lot of fun. Um, and within probably two months, I was addicted. Yeah. And, and that over. was your regular Tuesday night, not a Friday night when everybody goes out on the on the lash. You were doing this on a Tuesday night. <laughs> Fabulous. Friday yeah. night. <laughs> Even a couple of times skated there. We were on roller skates. We just oh my god! We were dressed. Oh, I mean, it was just dancing, making us turn into kids again. It was ridiculous. And it was <laughs> Have you got video kids. evidence of the skating there? <laughs> Might do somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we need to see that. <laughs> and can you remember what your first night at Rock was like? Okay, so um, I didn't actually start with a Ciroc night. Ah. Uh, so it was a, it was, to be mm. fair, it wasn't Ciroc in Bristol at the time. That's where I used to live. Yeah. So it's a local independent. But um, when John Baker um, brought Ciroc to um, to Bristol, it was a total different game. It was just yeah. it was completely brilliant. And it was like, after one session, you can be a taxi dancer. It was like, what's a taxi? <laughs> answer what's wrong with him? <laughs> I know I know so um but you know just learning to dance that first night I mean just just going even to the independent it was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like oh my god I didn't even know this existed it was just fantastic it was just elated really good <laughs> how about you Andy uh my, my quite str straightforward I've moved to the Midlands <laughs> I, and I needed to make some new friends, so I went to a, I'm going to swear now, a salsa night at Kettering. I started with salsa as well, it's all good. <laughs> absolutely cacking myself, I'm going to say that, cacking myself. <laughs> I was sweating like I've never sweated before. <laughs> so this lady came across and had a dance with me, and she went, um, okay, maybe you should try Ciroc, because you don't have to use any footwork. <laughs> <laughs> a bit harsh, a bit harsh. Took me along to uh, Leicester, which yeah. is Mark. Mark Forster. Mark Forster. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I went did a lesson there. She then left and moved to Oxford, and she still dances in Oxford. It's uh, Amory Ferrick, if ever you come across Amory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You come across her? Oh, I think Pete has. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I might, I might, I might have bumped into her. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to just have a think about that one. <laughs> She's a lovely lady, and uh, yeah. So she cleared off a week later, but I carried on. I got the bug within two weeks. So. Fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. Is that the wrong thing to say at the moment? The bug. In two weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very topical. It's very topical. Yeah. Yeah. No c word now, please. <laughs> So, um, Lindsay, this one's next one's um, kind of directed more to you. Um, can you tell us a bit about your teaching background? Oh, well, I mean, I hadn't um, done any sort of like teaching until I got asked by John Baker again to be a teacher for him and sent me through the course. Oh, my God, the course. Oh, it can make you and break you. It was amazing. I was, pr yeah. I was the first one to bring wine officially into the course now. <laughs> <laughs> I day two, I was in tears because you know you put yourself through this and it's just like yeah. it's full on. It is full on. Yeah. So yeah, day two, we were all drinking wine. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was immense. But um, yeah, so I was teaching. I think it was about three or four years after starting. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's it's one thing being able to dance well, but being able to teach. You know, as yeah. you do through this rock teacher training. Yeah completely different skill and I was just I've learned so much from it literally it's been the best thing I've ever 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 done so apart from me oh. 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 <laughs> so where do, where do you actually teach Lindsay well obviously, it used to be all around Wales I started in Bristol um mm -hmm. then I took over the Welsh franchise and um currently now I just teach I say just 
<laughs> the Ciroc Swansea lot, oh my God, like literally. So you went, when you do your fleet nights, it reminds me of Swansea, it's such a community. Yeah. Um, they are all good friends. Everyone goes there for a gossip, for a laugh. <laughs> I think dancing's incidental to the nights. Um, <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Mm. That's a normal teaching night. So we start, we teach a rock and roll beforehand. So we start at seven o'clock, we do a rock and roll class, and then it rolls into Ciroc after that. Brilliant. Mm, brilliant. It's Wednesday in Swansea, if anyone wants to join. <laughs> so, so where's the rock and roll sort of background come from then? Is that, um, is that something you've done or? So this, this rolls back to when I started dancing. So the same class I used to go to on a Tuesday. Yeah. Every third Tuesday, I believe it was, um, there was no independent running um, because they had an organ recital in the main room. But this was a complex that had another room. And in there was rock and roll. So um, on the nights that we forgot that <laughs> modern jive wasn't going on, we ended up starting the rock and roll. And it was an old guy there called Pete the Feet. He was in his 70s while he was um, teaching us. <laughs> Pete the Feet. Um, he's in his 70s, the frailest looking man that you'd ever believe. But bloody hell, was he strong? Yeah. He'd feed you into these spins. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why, right. at the same time as learning modern jive, I was learning rock and roll, and my parents can do it amazingly as well. So it was always there. Yeah. Uh, so, um, so the the video of yours that, from the dance in your pants that we're featuring is your rock and roll stroll. So there you go. It's given a bit of insight into where uh, that kind of come from. So yeah, I was yeah. wondering. I was wondering where that come from. Cool. The actual <laughs> stroll itself. If you ever go to a rock and roll club, and please do so because it is it's just really good to support. Someone old time dancing it looks like a lot of fun it is and when it comes to a slower it sort of has sections in it so they put a little bit of rockabilly on which is the faster dancing on your own and then they put strollers on which is where generally the ladies get up but in some clubs the men get up as well and do the routine that i taught so oh, that's brilliant, that's brilliant. Oh, that's cool. good to know good to know so um what do you as the pair of you now what do, the, what do you both get up to in the world of Ciroc? Because obviously you, you guys are working this together a lot now. So do you do stuff together or are you still quite independent? Well, I was going to say, I mean, obviously my, my idol is Bandana Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I've done, I've done my getting up a bit more, but not at the moment. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. As a result of that, I actually do a bit of DJ myself down in Swansea. Good, good. And my, my DJ name is... Dodgy. Oh, gee. <laughs> DJ Dodgy. Sorry? DJ Dodgy. D D DJ Dodgy. Yeah. Oh, my good God. I can't afford a bandana, so I wear a cravat. Good for you. <laughs> you got, got to have your own unique style. And wearing a cravat is very unique. I'm impressed with that. So when I'm teaching and some of the things he puts on, I'm like looking at him going, oh, what is this? I've prepared for you. But it's a lot of fun. He gave me that one. <laughs> blame it on me. If in doubt, yeah, blame, blame it on me. Blame everything on me. Blame everything. And do you, um, at the moment, are you demoing for Lindsay, Andy? Yeah, especially with the rock and roll, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Rock and roll demo, and it depends. We got we got a couple of DJs at Swansea, so yeah. if if Andy's not DJ and he's on stage, we'll and does Andy thing. is Andy allowed a mic as a demo? No, okay. No, and it's no, probably you're this, not getting a mic. <laughs> and it's probably for the same reason I'm not allowed a mic as a demo because I'm sure Andy is making a lot of offhand comments during the class that you they can't repeat. Yeah. <laughs> he's going along. It's like what was that? <laughs> Sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so, so um, what do you do when you're not dancing then, guys? What's, what do you do for fun? <laughs> <laughs> I love that blank look at each other. Oh. <laughs> it's all consuming dancing. Yeah. All consuming. So that is, that's it. That's your, your one passion. Yeah. How about, about work-wise? What, what do you do for work? Say that again. Uh, how about work-wise then? If you don't have any non-dancing hobbies, about work-wise. You don't know what I do. No. 
I've heard, a, ru- I've heard a rumor, but this would be a good time to tell us what it is you actually do. Um, I do marketing for a company called Ciroc. You might have heard of them. <laughs> so, so so literally everything from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep is dancing. Yes. <laughs> dance related. It's That's the dance. Lindsay started a new role j- just at the end of last year, so you might be aware. Yeah, I yeah. started first role. Well, and another one of Rob's companies, which is um, New You Escapes, which is uh, fitness and weight loss retreats abroad. There you go. That's something that's non-dance related. <laughs> yeah. We got yeah. them in the end. Yeah, and after this, I definitely need to go on one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got far too much of this going on at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we've all been a bit suffering. A bit oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah I'm, I'm trying to be really good tonight. I'm on the the light stuff. That's what yeah, you think. Yeah, yeah. No, no, genuinely, I haven't spiked oh, it yet. Oh, I promise, I'm on the water. That's not vodka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're trying to run a clean show, and a sober, <laughs> and, a, and at the moment, fortunately, a sober one. <laughs> so, Andy, how about you? Outside of outside of dancing, what what do you get up to? I, I do uh, bits of this and a bit of that, actually. I do a bit of website work and okay. social media. I'm working on some um, a Dragon's Den style projects at the moment. Ooh, okay. Ooh. You might notice I'm doing some videos around gardening. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I've noticed that, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm working on these rotating handles for wheelbarrows. To right. So, yeah. They're... With nothing. And <laughs> then you'll know where it all came from. <laughs> wheelbarrows. Very pretty handles, I think. Fantastic. (laughs) Well, we're literally coming up to that time, um, and uh, we're almost going to be asking you in a minute or so what the um, fun fact is from you guys, uh, and that's going to be great. But before we do that, um, we're going to do our quick fire round, and uh, this is our fun bit because we don't prep you guys whatsoever. Um, We'll probably, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll ask the question, and we'll go Lindsay, then Andy, Lindsay, then Andy, uh, for every question, yeah? So, because your answers might be different. Yeah. So, uh, we'll give you a shot at bit, uh, uh, at both. So, Jules, uh, who's starting, me or you? So, I'll start, if you like. You, you um, can start. So... Okay, here it comes. So, Lindsay, silk or Ciroc? Ciroc. Andy? Ooh, silk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dance with a stranger or fixed partner? Stranger. Stranger. Judge or compete? This is kind of more for Lindsay. Compete! <laughs> <I'm old. laughs> Definitely. <Yeah. laughs> I've done the scoring, so I'd rather be on the floor. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. Um, strolls or New Line? Ooh, strolls, yeah. Strolls. <laughs> Southport or Camba? Southport. Southport. Okay. <laughs> well, that was definite. That was very definite. <laughs> definite, yeah. And finally, group cabaret or showcase? Group cabaret. Are we talking the difference between the oh, squirrels yeah. and dragons? So bas- yeah. oh, no, 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 no. So this is in the. Do you know what? <laughs> I put. I put. <laughs> you into a secret. I put a question in the quick fire, and I had one, and Jules went, no not do that one and then you out the blue come out with that comment <laughs> and, and now just just because Very of that i'm going to put a question in so the question is lions or squirrels oh easily squirrels, squirrels. there you go <laughs> what about squirrels and peas squirrels and pe- well this is it oh yeah i should have put on the peas but yeah yeah there you go they're more supports than anything else well, we get into you know. that, that was, yeah, um, I'll have to really consider whether or not I've got to edit this uh, interview. But I hate editing interviews, so um, I think I might leave it up and cause con- leave, con- leave it in, leave it. Yeah, leave it in, leave it in. Um, well, basically, guys, that's been absolutely fantastic. We um, totally appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule <laughs> in the week. <laughs> um, uh, we hope you have a great time, obviously, and um, we wish you, because we are aware that possibly, is it next year that there could be a little event on the horizon? Or is, uh, Yeah, so coming up, there's a potential nice little event on the horizon. What, what which might is that event be? I think we might be getting that. I think we might, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah, to that. Because, <laughs> obviously, I used to go to 
played quite a lot. And Lindsay's been down there on a many occasions now. Mm. Yeah. So say so hi to everybody. We we love everybody down at Fleet. It's, it's such a great night. We That's enjoy brilliant. it. And I give our best to the dragons. Obviously, you know, we, we haven't been over there for a while, but um, no, no, that's, that's, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking part. It's been, oh, yes, Jill, sorry. Just before we let you go, Pete was going to sign you off without asking you the answer. So, oh, what, yes. can you give us the answer? <laughs> He's just realised. Can you give us the answer, both of you, to your, your the fun fact? So, which of the three fun facts is true? So, Lindsay, which of your three fun facts was true? Cliff Richard has been to my house and sang to my mum. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that. Um, we'll fix it, which we don't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, Andy, and Andy, which were the three fun facts was your, was true for you? And I was a TV presenter in Sweden. But it oh. wasn't helping the plastic wrapper on it. <laughs> when he goes sick, we can get you to do his part on this then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Hey. Andy, yes. <laughs> You're the first alternate, Andy. That's it, sold. Oh, that's brilliant. Again, thank you ever so much, Guy. It's been an absolute joy and a pleasure. Thanks again. Take care. See thank you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. And we're done. Thank you. So, there we go. There's yeah. our feature teacher of the week, the lovely Lindsay Bennett. And uh, that cool dude, Andy Hill, who came along for the ride. <laughs> so, there um, you go. We will, we will post up the link to their class um, on the page and on the group. So, um, so have a little look after the live and we'll post it up there if you fancy having a go. Um, video yourselves doing the routine. We'd love to see you having a go. We might feature you on our, our You Rock section as well, if you fancy that. Um, Absolutely. But, um, but yeah, let us, let us, let us see, you, see you in action. Yeah, so let's go very quickly back to the fun facts, see who those have got it. Obviously, we didn't see uh, a total winner come in, but uh, let's have a look. Our fun facts again to remind you. Lindsay was, of course, visited by Cliff. Well, Cliff Richard came to her house and sang to her mum. Well, you know, that's an awesome fact. Um, you know, <laughs> you can't really top that much, can you? That's, that's yeah. absolutely impressive. And, of course, for Andy, what we had, he didn't hold a PhD and he didn't play football for the under-21s, although that was most of the guests. He was actually a TV presenter in Sweden. I need to see so, video footage of that. Yes, I think uh, <laughs> if anybody's got any uh, old background footage... Stitch marks um, in. <laughs> Andy, as a TV presenter in Swindon... Dig it out. Dig it them. out. So uh, that's cool. So uh, that was quite nice. Some uh, coming. Oh, we've had Lindsay just obviously just. Um, yes, yeah, squirrels, of course. Yes. Yes. It all kind of almost went pear shaped during the interview, but we rescued it. It's fine. It's cool. We haven't upset anybody. Um, what's Lisa put here? Who's having, a, who's having a go at the stroll? I reckon this guy looks like he's a good one. I will if you will, guys. So remember the challenges out there. Film yourselves. Doing one of these classes, what we don't mind what it is, you could you could end up in the you rock section. Oh, that's a good one. I've just seen it. <laughs> with, with, that, with that in mind, Pete, um, yeah. our you rock this week um, is actually Lindsay dancing Tim's routine from last week. It is. So uh, let's have a look. What, let's, uh, let's give you a little I think it's snippet off about a video. Yeah. So. Last week, obviously, we had Tim Stevens on, and he showed you uh, his routine with Solo. We uh, did it in the preview, harder, better, faster, stronger. And this is going to be Linz, a little bit of Lindsay and Marcy. And I think, I think someone nails it right at the end. Oh, did I not press play? <laughs> Thank you. 
there she goes. She did it. Oh, that was quality. Uh, we, uh, yeah, I th we thank Lisa for that one. Lisa found that, yeah, sent it over to us. That one. Thanks for that. It was absolutely great. <laughs> so, um, just before we go into the class video, we're just going to do a little bit of the teaser. Um, last week, obviously, uh, it got pretty quick, so we're going to put this up and we're going <laughs> to... Did you notice the cat? Yes, we um, noticed the, the cat. cat. I, saw, I saw the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Is the cat going to join in? <laughs> yeah, we thought the cat was going to join in. So, this week's teaser... This week's tease, I've got to make sure, actually, I just had a horrible fact that I haven't put the, the answer in there as well. Don't give the answer yet, no. <laughs> no, no, it's not in that bit. Gosh, I was all having that. I've double-checked it, but I'm pretty confident. So, let's I'm find out. I'm crossing my fingers here, Pete. Let's cross some Don't fingers. press the wrong button. <laughs> right, no, so, the right one. here's the teaser. Relic I think it's quite a hard one this week. Yeah, yeah. Relic Nun Braves Girl Tat. Relic Nun Braves Girl Tat. Ooh, that is a tricky one, I think. But uh, have a little time, see what you think. Make Put in a, a few uh, suggestions, if you what it is. We'll come back in a little bit. If nobody gets it straight away, I'll give you a clue. That's the, you know, that's the least I can do, is give you a clue. Uh, oh, I needed a clue. Hands, hands up, I needed a clue for this one. <laughs> yeah, actually, I came up with this one, to be fair. And um, when I tested it on both Lisa and Jules, they were both like, uh... uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it at all. Uh, yeah. I have a clue. Well, they wasn't <laughs> so got sure. Got it with a clue. Got it with a clue. <laughs> Absolutely. So, anyway, we're going to go into our class video. Time. Jules, lead them into um, it. So, okay, so it's um, an intermediate routine for those of you who are lucky enough to have a partner with you. Um, and as we did last week, uh, the lovely Heidi is going to body double for me because I'm miles away from Pete, so I can't dance with Pete. Um, apologies, we've still got issues with the lag, so we've had to be a little bit creative about the counting in later on, but you'll, you'll see how we got around that particular issue. Um, okay, so enjoy. Hi guys, um, so we've got another intermediate class for you. Um, so uh, anyway, they're waving for you. Um, brought to you by the, the beautiful Heidi and uh, and, uh, and the lovely Pete, Pete Bandana Pete. <laughs> so we're going to start off with um, beginner's variation. Uh, so the beginner's move we're doing a variation of today is going to be a cradle inside turn. So it starts with both hands. We're going to give a little nudge, step back away from your partner. Guys, you're going to raise your left hand and wrap your partner into your right hand side like you would for a normal cradle. And um, from here, just like a cradle, let go with the right, pop your hand on the lady's back. And then we're both stepping back on the right foot, guys, as you lower your left hand in front of the ladies. OK, so instead of raising the hand to turn and return like you would for a normal cradle, you're going to keep your left hand low, pull forwards and then bring the hand between you, raising it up and over the lady's head. So she does one and a half turns. Um, anti-clockwise for an inside turn. So let's do that again. So it's both hands. So nudge and step back. So the left hand wraps the lady into your side, right hand on the lady's back, and we step back on the right foot, sort of at 90 degrees to each other with your left hand nice and low. Pull forwards and then bring the hand between you and over the lady's head for an inside turn, lowering the hand to step back to finish the move. OK, and again, here we go. So both hands. Stepping back. Wrap. Cradle the lady. Pull forwards, inside turn and lower the hand. So, guys, you might find that the lady travels quite a long way um, as she does the inside turn. Um, if she does so, walk with her, travel with her, uh, rather than sort of standing on the spot and kind of trying to, kind of trying to lean and reach for her. Um, so let's do that one more time so you can get an idea of Pete walking with Heidi. So we're stepping back and we wrap in, cradle, and then as the lady travels, you follow her. That's it. So it makes it easier for the ladies. You're not pulling her off balance. Lovely. Last time. Here we go. So stepping back. We wrap. Cradle. 
inside turn, walking with the ladies if you need to, and back. There we go. They didn't need to that time. Heidi did a shorter, shorter travel. OK, lovely. So let's move on to the next move. The next one is our travelling block pass. So this is um, our classic move for the routine. So it's guys left hand, ladies right hand. Again, give a little nudge and we're going to step back away from each other. So guys, you're turning your shoulders away from the ladies, opening up this pathway in front of you. There we go. Pete's demonstrating that for me. Um, I want you to offer your spare hand palm towards the ladies um, kind of kind of in front of the ladies on, on her on her on the slot so the ladies can see the hand uh, ladies are coming forwards guys you've got to pass the lady's hand from your left hand to that waiting right hand and you've got a flat palm to palm position with the ladies there's a little bit of tension there um, in the block part of the move um, from here you're going to um, as the lady continues to travel you're going to bring that hand between you and over the lady's head so she turns one and a half times clockwise on the spot. We're then going to step in nice and close to return her anti-clockwise so she doesn't get dizzy. Fantastic. Let's do that again. Yes, come back to the first side. I think it's probably better that way. Guys, left, ladies, right. We step back. So you're getting out of the lady's way, offering that spare hand in front. Um, guys, you bring the lady forwards, passing the hand from your left hand to your right hand. We're going to bring that hand between you over the lady's head so she turns as she travels past you. We're going to step in to return the ladies and lower the hand. Good. OK, um, so one thing I, I just noticed Pete was doing there. Um, so as you um, as you lead the lady across, Pete was actually helping Heidi out and he was doing um, part of the movement. So get you to do that bit again. So we open out. As the lady comes forwards, if you watch Pete, he moves slightly to his left hand side. So Heidi hasn't got to travel quite so far. Yeah, so think chivalry when you're when you're leading this one. And again, when you're stepping in to do the return, make sure you're nice and close to help the ladies out. Let's do that one more time. Come back through. OK, there we go. So stepping back. So make sure you're nice and clear of the lady's slot. Pass the hand. Out the lady's way, turn and return. Very nice. OK, um, so for the ladies, you want to make sure um, that you're traveling as you do that turn. So don't turn on the spot. Otherwise, you're going to end up off slot. Um, and I think that's it for the ladies. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. So stepping back. Pass the hand. Ladies, keep traveling as you turn. Guys, step in nice and close for the return. Lovely. OK, so let's link that together with our cradle inside turn. So we started with both hands. We're stepping back. Wrapping in for the cradle. Inside turn for the ladies. Guys, you're already off the slot, so offer that hand. Pass the ladies hand from your left to your right for that traveling block pass. Little return to finish it off. Fabulous. OK, let's link on to the next move. So the next move we've got um, is a catapult, catapult scoop. So we're right hand to right hand for this move. Heidi's right as well. You've got Heidi's left. There we go. <laughs> got there in the end. All right, so right hand to right hand. It's difficult from a distance, isn't it, Pete? All right, here we go. We're stepping back. Um, for the catapult, you're going to pull down with your right hand as you start to travel forwards, guys. And ladies are going to reverse under the arm. As she's gone under, you lower the hand. Guys continuing to step forward, ladies continuing to step back. So you want to have a little bit of tension there in the arm. And we're one behind the other in a sort of bus cue position. So, guys, um, I want you to offer your spare hand at hip level. Lovely. Uh, you're going to take a step to your right hand side as the lady steps forwards um, and picks up. Um, as if to pick up that spare hand. Now, instead of um, letting it pick up the hand, you're going to sneakily, like Pete did, bring the, here we go, he's turned that way around, sneakily, like Pete did, bring the hand between you and onto the lady's back. There we go, so the hand comes between and onto the lady's back. That's it. Can we get you to shuffle back around there? Okay, so we're in this, well, I call that, I can't call that a scoop movement. So the hand scoops and onto the back. Um, from here, guys, you're moving sort of slightly back and slightly to your left as you scoop the lady round the other side of you. And then it's almost like coming into a high first position. So the lady's twisted out and we're 90 degrees to each other. Ladies back on the right. 
and guys are back on the right. At this point, guys, you offer your left hand again, and we're gonna slingshot the lady away. So you're pulling forwards, and then nudging to slingshot the lady away. Fabulous. Can I get you guys to do it um, the other way around for me just for a second so I can show them another different part of the move? So right hand to right hand. <laughs> you got a hand all this time. Stepping back. So pull and raise, and the lady goes under the arm, and then stepping forward to create that tension in the arms. Guys are stepping to the right, scooping with the left arm, bringing the lady round to the other side. So if you can see here, can I get you to do that a bit slowly? So you're collecting with your right hand onto the lady's back as she twists out into that high first position there. And guys are offering the left hand nice and low. There we go. So you can see that 90, 90 degrees position on this side. Um, keeping that left hand low, bring the hand forwards and slingshot the lady away from you. Fantastic. Can we do that again? So right to right. Stepping back. Pull down. Fold the lady under and away. We're going to scoop. So guys are moving out the lady's way, collecting with the right hand on the lady's back as you scoop her round off of the left hand and slingshot the lady away from you. Fabulous. OK, um, if we can do it one more time um, and I really want you to slow motion the bit where you're scooping the lady around, because I imagine that's going to be the trickiest part of this move. So here we go. So stepping back. So bowling under. Good. And step in to pop the hand on the lady's back. So I think that bit's fairly easy. So this bit, you're, you're bending your left arm around, collecting the lady on your right arm and allowing her momentum to bring her right the way around to the other side of you and then slingshot the lady away. Good. One more time. Right hand to right hand. Stepping back. So bowling under. Bring the hand between, collect and scoop that arm round to the other side and slingshot the lady away. Lovely. All right. OK, so let's link that on to the previous move. So we started both hands for a cradle inside turn. We're stepping back, wrap the lady in, cradle her, inside turn, into the travelling block pass. We offer the hand, block, turn and return ready for the catapult scoop. So bowling under, bring the hand between you onto the lady's back, scoop her around, twist out like a high first position and then slingshot the ladies away. Lovely. And a little hint for the ladies on this one, we discovered this when we were practicing earlier. Um, when you do the slingshot, um, try and aim your hips towards the guys rather than rather than angling your shoulders away. Um, that's it. So if you see Heidi's, Heidi's hips are like headlights pointing towards Pete um, rather than rather than this where you're angling away. That's going to make it much harder for the guys to lead the next bit on you. Yeah, that bit's wrong. <laughs> OK, so um, let's move on to the last move. So the last one we've got is a step across lean. Um, so again, it's guys left, ladies right. We're stepping back. <laughs> Um, so we did the step across flick spin last week. So it's like a variation on that one. Um, so guys are raising the hand, going under like you would for a step across. Now, <laughs> yes, we can see your belly then, Poop. Um, so as you pull the hand down, so last week we pulled down and let go for a flick spin. There we go. That's what we did last week. Um, so if I can get you to reset a second. Reset for a minute. There we go. That's it. Um, so <laughs> That's, that's fine. Um, so this time, as the hand comes down, as the hand comes down, you're going to keep hold and wrap the lady in for a cuddle by your side. There we go. So um, you will be forgiven, guys, for, for holding your thumbs for a split second. To stop her from escaping from you. All right. A split second and then no more thumbs. Otherwise, we'll come and snip them off. Um, so once you're wrapped in, guys, offer your spare hand um, and the ladies might want to take it or you could pop your hand on her shoulder. Either way, for a little bit of support so she feels like she's not going to fall off. Um, you want to be hip to hip with your partner. That's it. Nice and close. Nice and snug. Oh, close. <laughs> you loons. Um, so if there's a gap between you, it feels like the lady's falling in this move. So you want to make sure you're nice and close. Um, that's it. <laughs> Um, so, guys, you're going to take a small step to the side, a small, Pete, a small step to the side, um, bending that leg, keeping the other leg straight so the lady can lean against you. There we go. And then stand the lady back up. That's it. Lovely. And once you've done that, you can just 
gentle, gently nudge the lady's shoulder to unwind back out. All right, let's reset again. If I can get Pete um, sofa sign. So here we go, stepping back. So we're going under. We're going to pull down, keeping hold to wrap the lady in and offer the spare hand or collect on the lady's shoulder to give her that extra level of support. Uh, ladies, if you're holding on to his hand, if he does too low a dip, you can always dig your nails in um, or scream one or the other. Um, but guys, the, the idea is to make the ladies feel safe and supported. OK, so ladies, keep your feet together um, as you do the lean if you're not confident with this one. Um, if you've done leans before and you're more confident, you can do what Heidi did earlier where you lift one foot off the floor. So let's have a little go at the lean. There we go. So I like Heidi's doing. She's bending the knee and lifting that outside leg. Up off the floor. Beautiful. From here, guys, you let go of the hand, you unwind to come back out, guys, left to ladies, right. Lovely. Can you reset for me again? Sure. Yeah. All right, let's do that again. Here we go. Stepping back, going under the arch, wrapping in, collect and lean, and back up and unwind. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. All right, let's link that on with the rest of the routine. So we started uh, both hands for a cradle. So we're stepping back, wrapping in for a cradle, with an inside turn, straight into a traveling block pass. Little return at the end of that. From there, we went into a catapult scoop, bowling under. To let twist the lady out into that high first position and then slingshot her away, ready for the step across and lean. We're going under the archway, wrap the lady in. We lean and up, unwind and away. Beautiful. One more time. Here we go. So both hands stepping back to the cradle. Caught them off guard then. Wrapping in, inside turn. Travelling block pass with a little return at the end. Pete's wrecking the joint. <laughs> Catapult scoop. Good, into that high first position. Slingshot away, ready for the step across lean. Collect. Nice, and unwind. Fantastic. OK, I think we're ready for some music. Message and we'll, we'll try. Oh, hello. We might have had a little streaming error there for some reason, but I think we're I think we're here. I think we're still here. Let us know if we're not here. Yeah, hopefully not here. God blimey. So um it's saying I'm live and it's saying we're back on. So oh we are oh, that oh bless her, we are superstars. Yes, oh, I know we are you, darling. Sir. Yes, I know, yes. We've been working on it, dear. We we've been working on it forever. <laughs> <laughs> you did, but you are back. Okay, yes, cool. Right, so that was good timing then. So I don't know what what that was. Yeah, 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 back even. Yes, Lisa Benson. Yes, you get your things right. So anyway, we're just going to do, uh, we saw a few comments coming in, people saying they got it. They got it. So we know what they've got. They've got the teaser. So uh, this was the teaser. So um, let's, what have I done there? That's awful, isn't it? Let's try that again. <laughs> I don't know what, what that's doing. Well done. You done. There we go. <laughs> there we, there we go. That's I think there it was. A, I just think it was a a thing in me, Bob, with the computers. I'm running so much with this computer. Gremlins. Gremlins I mean, equipment. 
I wonder if I'll get a, I'll have to get a new computer, bigger, faster, I know, better. Probably. Yeah. So anyway, come on then. Who's first? I saw right, what I got then. it. If you, if you think you've got the answer, post it now, and whoever gets there first is our, is our teaser winner. <laughs> The suspense is killing me. I feel like we need a countdown clock. I'm waiting for the comments. I'm waiting for the comments. Boom! Hey, we have a winner. Basic travel return was in there first. Oh, yes, she was. Basic travel return. Well done, Helen. You were fastest first. First fastest. That's good to see. Big pound back if you got that one. Fantastic. So, <laughs> well done. Well I've got to, yeah, hold on. I've got to turn it off now, haven't I? It does help. Da -da, da -da, basic travel return. Turn that off. Yes, there we go. Awesome. Oh, yes, there we go. Here we go. Gail Waddingham also got it. We thought she did. Yes, well done, Helen. Yes, fantastic. Dave Shalens was back of us. So, yes. Said, not, I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> Not a clue. Let's just say not a clue. Is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Helen, you can type faster than me. That's Gail. There you go. Cool. So um, we've done the teaser. We've done the video. Hope you've learned loads. Oh, oh. That's the best one. Got that. I, did, I didn't know that we were guessing. <laughs> First time, first time viewer to the show, obviously, doesn't got the concept yet. But hey, you know, that's okay, Lindsay. It's, it's just being here. We're happy to have you here, dear. It's not a problem at all. Um, so now we're going to go into um, our Who Is It? Mm -hmm. Our Who Is It section. Let's go for it. So um, our lovely guests this evening, we have Catherine um, and Lisa. So Catherine started dancing 15 years ago in Godalming. Um, we think with Annalisa, but she couldn't quite remember. Um, she's been a regular at Fleet for a, as long as I can remember. Uh, and she joined the crew about five years ago, originally um, in our Alton venue, as, as was. Um, but now she taxis at Fleet um, as well. Um, so Lisa, everybody knows Lisa. Do we really need to introduce Lisa? <laughs> Um, for any of those watching who haven't met Lisa, um, Lisa started dancing 16 years ago at the Stoke in Guildford uh, with um, teacher, her first teacher was Jackie Barrett um, and Aunt Daniels uh, was, the, was the demo back then. Uh, came to Fleet very soon after that one. Um, Lisa's worked for Ciroc Franchise for a long time, so she's worked for Ciroc Plus and for Ciroc Surrey. Um, and seven years ago, she took over a running Ciroc Plus. So she is now our, our lovely franchisee. She is the boss woman. So, uh, so yeah, so, so we've, got, we've got to be nice to be Lisa, Lisa this evening. <laughs> um, so we've asked uh, Catherine and Lisa a, a handful of questions and we got their answers. Um, so it's up to you guys to guess who answered what to which question. All right, so the first question we've got, uh, where is the weirdest place you have danced Ciroc? So one of them said in a pub, and the other one said across a bridge. Who said which? Post your answers in the comments so we can see. All right, so the next question we have, um, what's your favourite alcoholic drink? And one of our lovely ladies said wine, and the other one <laughs> said vodka and orange juice. So have a little guess to see who you think prefers wine and who you think prefers vodka and orange i think that was gonna oh, that was gonna be a tricky one there yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so um so what other dance styles do you dance that's that's the next question um so one of the line ladies said tap and west coast swing and the other one said she likes a good mosh yeah. i think this one's fairly easy this, this one I'm, I'm i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna think this one's fairly easy but then i do know them both quite well <laughs> Uh, perhaps I'm at a slight advantage for that one. Uh, <laughs> um, so the last question we asked was, what was the last TV show that you binge watched? So who said lie to me and who said the Republic of Doyle? Post your answers in the comments and we'll see who knows our lovely ladies best. 
All right. All right. Well, we've got plenty coming in. Oh, probably. Yeah. Crikey. Let's have a look. What we got? Then we get got... it right. <laughs> well, let's have a look. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, scroll back way too quick then. Uh, what's this? So we've got uh, Heidi says, Catherine can the pub. Obviously, having typing issues there. Uh, Kev Cook says Lisa Bridge. Catherine doesn't like to choice a photo, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Lindsay Bennett says. Don't blame me, that wasn't me, that yeah. was Pete. <laughs> Vodka for Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I dig out the, I dig out the pictures. Vodka for Lisa. Um, let's have a look. Um, oh, Catherine Pub. I may have been involved from Ooh, days Oh, inside time. information Ooh. that day. <laughs> yeah, insider information poss possibly. Um, Kev Cook, Lisa Wine. Oh, yeah. Heidi. Um, Catherine likes a Voddy darling. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew comes up with um, uh, Lisa across a bridge. Yeah, Lindsay's uh, Lindsay's still with us. Uh, Lisa Mosh Pit. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, but you know what? You could you could be right. You could. Be I right. wouldn't put it past her. Yeah, uh, Lisa West Coast Swing. Yeah, there's he go. What a... <laughs> What's a mosh, Catherine? So Wait, I was a mosh, Catherine. <laughs> That's a quality one. <laughs> yeah. I think we need to give you a demonstration, Heidi. <laughs> so, so we've had some brilliant um, ideas there. So let's dig out the um, Catherine and Lisa answers. So let's just refresh you uh, who was who, who was what. So, where is the weirdest place you have danced a rock, was the question. Let's find out who answered what. It's not really weird, but it was across the bridge at the bottom of Guildford. It was very late at night, did a Columbian from one side to the other, and got a round of applause from the drunk onlookers when we finished. Um, probably the weirdest place I've ever danced to rock would be in the middle of a quite crowded pub and we were the only people to rocking. <laughs> so we can only assume that the only people to rocking in that one could have been Dave Schiller, so. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't even know who the other one was yet. <laughs> well, absolutely. So there you go. Lisa was, I forgot what the question, what the answers were now. No, I've just gone blank. I've just seen the questions. Hold on. Yeah. Where's the weirdest yeah. place to dance? Across the bridge, yeah. Lisa was across the bridge. I know who that one was with. Hey? That was with Dave Innes. Dave and they Innes? did a drop at the end and they got a round of applause. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, you do recall it. Oh, there I you go. There, no, you I, I oh, heard okay. <laughs> so, question two. What's your favourite <laughs> alcoholic drink? Was it wine or was it vodka and orange? Let's find out. Oh, my favourite alcoholic drink. That's not tricky. That's red wine or wine. Give me wine. <laughs> My favourite alcoholic beverage is vodka, preferably with orange juice. Yeah, so basically Lisa, give me wine! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It's almost like it's a fleet night, really, isn't it? It's just hearing <laughs> Lisa shout her dulcet tones, give me wine! <laughs> so question number three. What other dance styles do you do? Tap and West Coast Swing and a good mosh. Well, I think most of you were there with this one, so let's have a look. Oh, other dance styles. Um, as a child, I do tap, jazz and modern, um, and I do a bit of West Coast Swing. I do like a good mosh to a heavy metal track. <laughs> Yeah, go Catherine. Catherine does like a good mosh. All of it. Lindsay Bennett, mine's a wine too, carefully. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, question number four. What was the last TV show you binged watched? Was it Lie to Me or The Republic of Doyle? Let's find out. Last show I binge watched has to be Republic of Doyle. Brilliant. Uh, 
Um, I have just finished watching Lie to Me, which is quite an old program, but I've rewatched it recently. There you go. There you go. There we are. The lovely Catherine and the lovely Lisa. <sighs> All done, dusted. That was your who was it? What's the ghost? We've got moshes. <laughs> to be Lisa, to be fair, <laughs> she's done a few mosh pits in her time as well. I've got surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So that Gail, was this week's who is it? She got three out of three. Did she get the fourth one right as well, Gail? Did you get the fourth oh, one? Yes, did you get yes, three out of four? Yeah. Three out of me for Gail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I need to know, yeah, did yeah. Gail get four out of four? Did anybody else get four out of four? Yeah, did anybody get four out of four? Crikey. That would have been a good guess. Do we have any super fans in the house? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, Andrew got two oh, right. Big. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Gail didn't hear number four, got apparently. Two right. Gail didn't hear number four. Okay. I didn't hear number four. Ah. Uh, number oh. four was, um, what was number four? Uh, the... Um, what was the last, last TV, TV show, show they binge watched? Binge watched. And it was uh, Lisa was the Republic of Doyle, and it was Lie to Me for Catherine. Oh, look, here he comes. Here he comes. Look, you know. <laughs> Lindsay <laughs> got zero. <laughs> there's always <laughs> one. Yes, Lindsay, you the definitely one, need to come to sleep. <laughs> that yeah, would be amazing. There's always but not at the moment because we're closed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, look, that's nice. Lindsay, you need to get More to fleet. Yes, you do, Bye. Lindsay. Yes, we need, do need to get to, to fleet. Oh, blimey. Well, good you enjoyed that. Now, if anybody else interested in being involved on Who Is It, uh, by all means, join in. At the moment, obviously, we we focus on a lot of the crew guys and everything. But you guys are more than welcome to take part in this. You know, if you want yep. to take part, contact us. Uh, we'll sort it out. Jules basically does does up the interviews and, and I try to edit it all together to make it look like it's kind of reasonable. Um, so, yeah, if you if you want to have a go on the Who Is It, you're more than welcome. Don't forget, you can also do the U Rock as well. It's all there for you guys. So yeah, calm well. down. Right, well, we're almost near the end, but obviously, uh, before we do that, we have the caption competition. So uh, let's let's uh, let's go to the caption. I'm just going to just Jules is just double checking if I missed anything, but I think we're good. <laughs> No, I was just looking for the um, for the other captions for for the caption competition, the answers to the caption competition. Um, so, have you, have you got the uh, the image there last week? Oh yes, yes, last week's yes, captions. yes, yes. Caption competition. So, here we go. <clears throat> now, hold on, I've got to do this in the right order. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this we was go. last week's. So that was last picture. week's photo. Um, so we had various different captions that various different people had sent in. I'll read out some of that. Some of them. Um, Cheryl Beach says, "Why do I always get the feet?" Um, Phil Howell said, "Not sure about that PPE." Um, <laughs> uh, Andrew White says, um, "I believe I can fly." Um, Catherine Barton said, "Lisa thinks she should have held out longer for a hero." I like that one. That's quite good. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Another one from Andrew White says, superheroes are like buses, wait long enough and four turn up. <laughs> and, um, okay, well, I'll let you, um, I'll let you announce the, okay. the winning, the winning so we one. Had that there was a really good all, I haven't yeah, read them all, so but there was some really good ones the on The winning cup caption that came through was from Judith, how many superheroes does it take to get Lisa off the dance floor? So, well done, Judith. She's down on Facebook as Judith Sorok. Um, we were racking our brains, to be fair, a little earlier, thinking, oh, what is Judith's surname? Because she's changed it, obviously, on Facebook to Sorok. But we couldn't quite remember it. But there you go. Judith is our winner. So, we need another caption. We've got one. Competition for next week. We've, when was we've that got taken? one. Oh, You're not going to like it. Taken? Yeah, so I'm just... <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Stitched you up like a kipper, didn't I, Pete? There we go. So this is this week's caption competition photograph. Um, I can't wait to read the entries on this one. Um, so we'll post this on the page and we'll post this on the Srock Plus group. <laughs> Pete dying over there. Um, post your answers on your, for the caption competition um, underneath the photo in the group or on the page um, and we'll pick a winner for, for next week. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a feeling this is going to get a few fucking suggestions. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, sweetheart. That was lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can sense revenge from a mile off. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well done, Judith, for winning the caption competition. 
Uh, Lindsay asked, when was that Avengers photo taken? And I'm trying... It was Lisa's birthday. That's right. Here we go. There we go. Lisa's just remembered. One of my birth... One. One of my birthday. Many birthdays. Uh, <laughs> yes, there was. We snowballed. Now, I remember it. I can't remember which birthday it was. But uh, we definitely... We definitely uh, did some snowballing. So, there we go, folks. We're pretty much it. There we are. Hope we another packed show for you this week. Um, we uh, had a great time. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week, this time next week, hopefully. Um, as usual, a little later on, probably about uh, half nine in about ten minutes or so, we're gonna. I'm gonna kick off uh, another Zoom set. No, let's talk again. We're going to kick off another Zoom freestyle. Um, with the link will be posted to the group and the, and this page. Uh, click on the link if you've got Zoom. Great. If you don't have Zoom, it's not a problem. Great. Just join the meeting. It will take you in. Uh, you'll come in, and there'll be a whole bunch of us. I will play some tunes. We only do it for about an hour, and you can all chat to each other, obviously, uh, to and fro, and you can see each other. You can have a boogie in your own homes, or just sit there having a good old chat. And then, right at the end, which has become the great feature, uh, the last track is uh, going to be a sing-along. So I mute everybody, and it's carnage. Yay! <laughs> Vocal carnage, where everybody yeah, sings along to a track, track, just for a giggle. <laughs> And then uh, if you're still around and you've got a cup of tea or a beer, you can have a chat and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so it's really good. So a few little thank yous coming in now. We've got the lovely Lisa, as always. Thanks for that. And we've got Tracy Hart. Thanks. You're very welcome, Tracy. Much appreciated. Absolutely brilliant. Gail, bye, everyone. Thanks for coming in, stopping by. That was fabulous. So before uh, thank I you, everyone, off, for, the, for your comments. It really helps as, as we're going through the live to see people yes. are, are actually there. <laughs> Yes, it's talking into thin air. <laughs> absolutely lovely. And of course, the video, uh, this feed will be available on the page for you to go back and peruse at your yeah, leisure. Like and it, share it. Yeah, like tell your friends. <laughs> yeah, the, just as a just a whilst I remember, we're probably going to do uh, create an event for this for next week. So although we've been doing this live on the group and now on the page, we thought what we might do is dabble in creating a Facebook event and inviting loads more people so oh excuse me we might have yet another influx um just to give you a little bit of uh, a, a little bit of uh, on our own soapbox for a moment we uh, a couple of weeks ago we were like keeping this to the group and it went well and then we went live publicly you want to use the button don't you i, I want to use the button but i'm not going <laughs> to I'm, I'm resisting i'm going to talk about it i'm going to i've set this cool thing up at least uh, jill's has been going no 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 oh go on go no on. no no you said no so i'm i'm knowing so i'm not going to do it so exactly. i'm really good <laughs> I know you want me to. You want me to, really, don't you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, I really no, don't. Okay, no, okay. Well, anyway, the good news <laughs> is, the good news is, I kind of said we'd probably get X amount of views, and um, uh, I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. We had about uh, five times over what I predicted. So um, thank you ever so much, guys. That was a bit of an unbelievable show. Um, and we were so happy um, to do it for you guys. <sighs> oh, hello, what's this? <laughs> Shout if you need any sort of help. Oh, well, Lindsay, you know. <clears throat> there's, a, there's, a, there's a chap you know, and uh, we'd love to have him as a guest. He's a teacher. And um, I know yeah, by all means, if you can just give him a nudge in our direction, get in, <laughs> get in touch with Jules. Um, you know, I know he's a little busy running the whole thing, but uh, if uh, <coughs> Mr. Sant <coughs> is happens to be around, but we'd love to interview him. Goes without saying. So that would be fabulous. Anyway, that's it from me. That's it from the lovely Jules. Love, love the new backgrounds. Showing off yeah. now. I've, I've had about half hour to, to sort this out. Pete said he was going with a with a background. I was like, I need a background then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a background, and, Ju and Luke just went, I need a background. Pete's is a professional background. Mine is three towels, safely <laughs> pinned together. <laughs> Held up on a bamboo cane and, and two mic stands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all about. Anyway, guys, it's been an absolute joy. 
absolute <laughs> pleasure. Lovely to see you guys. Don't forget, about 10 minutes' time, uh, I'll be cranking up the Zoom session. Come along, have yourself a bit of a boogie, and we will see you all next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.